What's up everybody, welcome back to Sick Air Tech and today we're going to be doing a spec comparison between the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5 and the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Here we got footage on the Z Flip using the cover screen and that is capped out at 1080p. And uh, yeah, how does this look? We're going to be going on over to specs and some pictures and a little bit of video taken on both of these devices. And we're going to be talking about the specs of both these devices. See which one you want to pick up as far as being your next device. Here we got rear-facing portrait video of the Galaxy S23 Ultra. And there's two different form factors here we're going to be talking about. The differences in both these devices, whether or not you want the cameras or you want the foldable, compact versatility of the Z Flip. So let's go ahead and get started. Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5 versus the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Let's get started, shall we? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Sick Eric Tech. And let's go ahead and get this comparison started, shall we? So over here on this side, we got the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. And over here, we got the Galaxy Z Flip 5. Now, both of these are definitely different devices. If you want ultra camera experience, then you want to go with the ultra. If you want that uh, compact, you know, flip factored that you want to just slip in your pocket, then you go for the Z Flip. Definitely newer technology over here with this folding display. So let's go ahead and get started with the build quality. So as far as the S23 Ultra, you have Corning Gorilla Glass Victus 2 on the front and on the back. As far as the overall size, 6.43 inches tall, 3.07 inches wide and 0.35 inches thin as you can see right there very nicely done when it comes down to the size of this device it is definitely a big device when it comes down to that and as far as the weight goes 8.25 ounces so definitely a nice chunky device feels good in the hand and it definitely has some weight to it going on over to the actual z flip 5 so you do get uh, Corning Gorilla Glass Victus 2 on the back which is the cover screen and the actual back glass right here and you also do get the armor aluminum over here as well for that so that's quite nice and as far as the dimensions go 6.5 inches from top to bottom 2.8 inches wide and 0.27 inches thin this is when it is unfolded and when it is folded 3.35 inches tall, 2.83 inches wide, and 0.59 inches thick. So very nice when it comes down to the Z Flip, of course, you do get that nice option to just flip this and put it in your pocket while over here on the Ultra. This thing is a huge beast. And as you can see right here, which one do you want in your pocket? This little guy or it is big guy right here. So yeah, definitely a difference in form factor depending on what you are looking for. If you want the cameras, go on over to the Ultra. If you want the compact form factor, go on over to the Flip. Now, as far as displays go, the Z Flip has an inner display, which is a foldable dynamic AMOLED 6.67 inches. Supports 120 Hz HDR10 Plus and has a peak brightness of 1750. 85.9% screen to body ratio. It is a resolution of 1080 by 2640 with 425 pixels per inch. The cover display is a Super AMOLED uh, display 3.4 inches, 720 by 748. And covered in Corning Gorilla Glass Victus 2. 306 pixels per inch for this inner display now you're pretty much going to be doing a lot of stuff on this display as far as responding to text messages you could even open up some apps and open them on here you don't get that you know high refresh rate that you would on the inner display and everything is sort of small over here but if you want everything else just go in and open the device and you are good to go when it comes down to that 
Going on over to the Ultra, you get a 6.8 inch dynamic AMOLED display. Again, supports 120 hertz. And it does support HDR10+. You get a peak brightness of 1750. And it is 89.9% .9 screen to body ratio on the Ultra. It is 1440 by 3088 with 500 pixels per inch. So definitely a nice bigger display. It is curved compared to the flat inner display of the Z Flip 5. And of course you get glass over here. Well over here you do get that softer plastic foldable glass. Which is pretty much covered with a plastic screen protector. And does have some give to it when it comes down to, of course, being able to fold. You do get that crease on there when it comes down to the Z Flip compared to no crease, obviously, on the actual Galaxy S23 Ultra. Now, both of these devices do have always on displays. And the Z Flip has one on the inside and one on the outside as well. And you get a in-display ultrasonic fingerprint sensor on the Ultra. While over here on the flip, you get a side mounted fingerprint sensor on the actual flip, which can also, you know, unlock your device. So you can go scrolling in here and do whatever you want. You get facial recognition on both of these as well. So going on over to operating systems, the S23 Ultra is running a version of One UI 6 beta. So hopefully the beta software on the Ultra doesn't hinder anything as far as comparing these two devices when it comes down to the photography or anything. I noticed some pictures do tend to be out of focus just a little bit using this beta software, but hopefully it won't affect anything in this video. Now going on over, like I said, Android 13 is going to be over here on the Z Flip 5 with One UI 5.1.1. Well, over here on the S23 Ultra, you get One UI 6 Beta Android 14. Both of these devices are running the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor made for Samsung. Both of these devices have 8 gigabytes of RAM. The Z Flip has 512 gigabytes of internal storage. While over here on the S23 Ultra, you get 256 with the option, of course, of both of these going up to one terabyte. But these are the uh, variants of these two devices. Both have 8 gigabytes of RAM. You get the Adreno 740 GPU on both of these as well. And both of these do have UFS 4.0 storage. No micro SD card support on any of these devices, unfortunately. Now going on over to cameras where these guys definitely differ the most. You get a much premium camera system over here on the S23 Ultra. You get a 200 megapixel main sensor. It does support PDAF, laser autofocus, and OIS. You get a 10 megapixel periscopic telephoto lens with PDAF and OIS as well with 10 times optical zoom. And then you get another telephoto lens at 10 megapixels. It does also have iOS with three times optical zoom. And finally, you get a 12 megapixel ultra wide with PDAF, super steady, and that is your ultra wide camera at 120 degree field of view. Your front facing camera is going to be a 12 megapixel camera with uh, uh, PDAF as well. You can record all the way up to 4K 60 on this front facing camera and 8K 24 and 30 frames per second on the rear. Of course, your 4K 30 and 60 and whatever else you want to use on there. Going on over to the Z Flip over here, you do get a main sensor of 12 megapixels and it does support PDF and optical image stabilization. You get your 12 megapixel ultra wide with a 123 degree field of view, so a little bit wider field of view on this ultra wide. You can record all the way up to 4K 60 on the flip, so no 8K video over here. Your front facing camera is going to be in the uh, inner display. And this is going to be a 10 megapixel front facing camera. And you can record all the way up to 4K 30 frames per second on this camera. But of course, the cool thing about the flip is that you can use your other cameras for your selfie if you want to do so. So that is really nice. You can get better selfie qualities using your main cameras with this cover display. You can do video and you could also do photo. And you can also do portrait photo if you want as well. 
you can zoom in and zoom out to do ultra wide if you want to do that as well and you can use this as a tripod if you want to stack this up and take some pictures of yourself hands free which is very nice that you can do that and if you were to open it up and you were to get more options with this camera so if you were to fold it it gives you this folding view right here and you do get a touchpad you could do photo and video and you can do so much stuff with this camera as far as switching everything around and recording video and of course having everything to where you know you could have this using a front facing camera and record yourself doing some TikTok videos and things like that but again like i said the ultra has more powerful cameras more better zooming capabilities with the ultra and overall a more powerful camera you do get pro video and pro photo on both of these so that's fantastic that you do get both on both of these so you're able to tweak your video and your photos to however you like with your ISO your exposure and things like that now as far as camera quality goes they pretty much go back to back when it comes down to image quality and video all right so here we got the inner display camera of the Z Flip 5 recording at 4K 60 frames per second. Just giving you guys an idea of how this camera looks when you're recording video and let me know how this looks. And uh, if it's any good, more than likely you're gonna use the other rear facing camera since you have that cover display to get better photos, better selfie video rather than using the inner display camera. So let's go on over to the S23 Ultra's front facing camera and see the differences. And here is the Samsung Galaxy S23 front facing camera. And again, that way you guys can see the difference between these two cameras and uh, see which one's better as far as video goes. Again, 4K 60 frames per second. So let's go ahead and start talking about the specs of both these devices and get this video over with, shall we? Come on. And yeah, as far as the pictures go, tell me which one you might like the best. Uh, as far as the cameras on here, you might be seeing some pictures taken side by side on both of these devices. And like I said, they both are really good. The Z Flip 5 definitely tends to do a little bit better in low light compared to the S23 Ultra, especially with this front facing camera. And it just does a little bit better in low light situations. But the Ultra is definitely the king when it comes down to zooming capabilities with that periscopic telephoto lens. You're able to get much closer into your objects, like if you're at a concert, which is absolutely fantastic. Roll over here on the Z Flip is just doing everything digitally and cropping in and you're losing image quality when you're using the flip trying to uh, zoom in this stuff. So keep that in mind. The S23 Ultra, definitely way better in cameras, but that's not the prime focus over here on the z flip the prime focus is that this can fold in half right over here they definitely focus on the bigger display and the cameras now both of these devices do have stereo speakers with dolby atmos on board which is absolutely fantastic you get auto you get movie music and voice on both of these and speaker quality is actually really good speaker quality on the flip not as loud as the ultra just because it is a smaller device thinner uh, there's not much hollow spaces on the inside for audio and sound to resonate from so the audio on the ultra is going to be a lot better so let's go ahead and take a listen to some audio that way you guys can get a better understanding of how both of these devices sound through these speakers <laughs> All right, so what do you guys think of the audio quality on both of these? Which one sounded better to you? I'm still gonna go with the Ultra as far as it's sounding better. 
as far as speakers go. And like I said, Bluetooth on both of these sound fantastic. You get Dolby Atmos. No headphone jacks on any of these, so that is a shame. And uh, Bluetooth connectivity is actually quite great on both of them, and they sound great. Now, one other perk that the Ultra does have is the S Pen support. So you're able to take notes, sign documents, and things like that. So you're able to take notes and sign documents with the S Pen, and you're able to draw on here as well and use it as a regular stylus to navigate through the actual phone, which is absolutely fantastic. And you can use this for your camera to take pictures and things like that if you want to connect to it and take some shots. You can use this as a remote control for your camera to, you know, flip stuff around and take shots and set your phone somewhere else and just click the button and take pictures with your S Pen. So that comes in handy. If you don't use it, you can just tuck it away and forget about it and no issues whatsoever when it comes down to that. Now going on over to DeX. Now the Ultra does have support for DeX. You can use this wirelessly connected to your monitor, your TV, and things like that and have this as a pretty much computer or you could connect it with wired to have that DeX experience while over here on the C Flip. You do not get DeX support for some reason. Hopefully that comes in a software update. For me, I don't care. I do not use DeX, so it's not really an issue for me, but keep that in mind. DeX is only available on the S23, not on the Z Flip 5. Now going on over to the battery, the S23 Ultra has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery with 45 watt wired charging, and you do get 15 watt wireless charging and 4.5 watt reverse wireless charging. Now the Ultra can charge, if you have the correct charger, 65% in 30 minutes with using an actual 45 watt charger or anything above like that. Now going on over to the Z Flip 5, you do get a 3700 milliamp hour battery with 25 watt wired charging, 15 watt wireless charging, and 4.5 watt reverse wireless charging. And this advertises 50% of charge in 30 minutes as well. So definitely quicker charging speeds over here on the Ultra compared to the Flip and a larger battery, but both of these devices are definitely one day devices. They will definitely get you through a day. Definitely surprised with the battery life on the Z Flip 5. It was able to get me to a full day and then some, but then you're gonna have to charge it overnight depending on your usage. Everybody's difference with their devices. If you're playing games all day, taking video and pictures, of course, any device is going to die quickly. So all of that varies on usage of the actual user of how long your battery will last but for me the s23 ultra definitely lasts longer than the z flip 5 when it comes down to battery but of course you need a smaller battery on a device like this in order for it to be very thin and in order for it to fold since it does split the batteries into two halves so you cannot really fit a 5000 milliamp hour battery on a small device like this, especially this thin. I know other companies are doing it, like Xiaomi. They're able to do stuff like that. But for some reason, Samsung is not ahead of the game and they're going ahead and just giving us smaller batteries. So yeah, battery life, definitely the Ultra is going to be a lot better when it comes down to battery life. So hopefully you guys were able to enjoy this video and found it useful when it comes down to the tech specs of the Z Flip 5 and the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Which one will you be picking up? Will you be picking up something that's more compact, foldable, and cool? Or will you be picking up something that's more powerful with better cameras? And like I said, as far as price goes, they are pretty much almost the same price. The Ultra is about $1,100 can be found right now. And the Z Flip 5 is about $9.99. So the trade-offs are, again, like depending on what you're looking for. If you're looking for something cool and fun and able to just fold in half and put in your pocket. Or if you want something big with an S Pen and bigger, better cameras, then go with the S23 Ultra. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you found it useful, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time here on Sick Eric Tech. Peace.